Hello, it's Neil Ball here from Work with Neil Ball, and today I'm just going to look at quickly how to edit the host file on the computer, which is a fairly simple task which you sometimes have to do with certain pieces of software or for other reasons. Um, sounds like a simple thing to do, but if you've ever tried it, you'll find you've probably had the odd difficulty with it because when you try to save your changes, it won't let you and they don't save or it saves it in a, in, in a new version of the file which you don't want. Um, and the, the, obviously if you've got your priv privileges set up correctly on your computer then you shouldn't have a problem so if, you, if you're using an administrator etc then you should be able to do it but if you've not got everything set correctly it can be a bit difficult to do so um, this is a, a, an alternative way of editing it which I found to be quite a reliable way of doing it so um, first of all I'll just go into the location of the um, of where it is so I'll just show you very quickly so if you go into computer you go into C drive uh, you go into the Windows folder and then you come down to the System32 which is here and then you go into Drivers and then you go into ETC this here is the host file so that's that's the file that if you ever need to edit the host file that's the file that you, you need to edit um, and you can see that the path here is actually shown across the top so it's C drive windows system 32 drivers etc so that's that's the um, the location of a directory it's, it's situated in now the way that I do this is, is a slightly different way as I say in fact what you can do is if, if you're unsure of the exact path to it what you can do at this point is if you right click there and put copy address as text what you can do then is if you come into your notepad you can then paste it into notepad um, just to keep a, a note of it this isn't going to be the file that you save in your host file but it will just be a, um, a reminder of the location of it because you're going to need that in a minute so the next thing that you need to do is go into your computer go to all programs accessories and where it says command prompt in accessories don't left click it like you might do normally to open a program but right click it come down and go run as administrator and that'll ask you permission to open it you just click continue um, and here you can see on the screen now I'm now in the um, I'm, I'm now using I can now got the command prompt on the screen um, currently it's looking at the Windows system 32 folder you'll probably find that your machine is doing is somewhere else um, that will depend on what you've previously been doing with this but on my machine that's where I am but that doesn't really matter because you're going to change that so you're going to use the change directory command which is CD and then we're going to go C colon slash and really what was what's going to happen now is you're actually going to type in this 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 um, this path here so it will go Windows and then system 32 and then drivers and then etc and what you do then is you're just going to press enter and it's now changed so that the directory that you're actually in is there and what you need to do now is you, know, you need to know um, open it up in notepad now to do that again very simple all you do is type notepad oops Hang on, it's not coming up on the screen, let's do that again. Right, so that's notepad, space, and then the name of the file you want to open, so that's host. So what that'll do now is, it's now opened up the, the notepad, and you can see here um, that this moment in time, my host directory, my host file has got very, well, it's got nothing in it. Um, ordinarily, if you've never edited this before and it hasn't been changed by any software on your machine, then it would normally start here. Um, and it should always have this line in uh, the 127.0.0.0.1 um, local host um, the last line of it would ordinarily be um, this line here which is hash that hash may or may not be there sometimes it is sometimes it isn't um, colon colon one local host and if you were editing it then you'd put in the, the any any information that you needed to put in here and once you'd finished doing that it's just a question of um, going to file and then save and once you've done that that's now saved and edited it and as you can see if, you've, if, if you're actually watching this video presumably you've had trouble doing it you'll see that was effortless because um, that's been done 
without any sort of messages coming up saying you can't save it because you're not logged in or you've not got the right privileges or whatever it should be and and that's basically it so um if you, if you need to see any other tips in the future just go to my website www.workwithneilball.com otherwise um speak to you soon <laughs>